I mean, my setup for using the TC Electronic Ditto X4 looper. Uh, the looper has MIDI control capability. So uh, I built a uh, pedal, uh, push button pedal that has an Arduino inside of it that's capable of sending MIDI CC commands to the looper. Uh, and right now these four buttons are configured so that uh, this button controls uh, looper 1 stop, this button controls looper 2 stop, this button clears loop 1, and this button clears loop 2. That's to make it a, a bit easier um, for using in real time. Uh, otherwise, you have to double press the other buttons over here uh, and so forth in order to uh, stop or clear the loop, um, which is difficult to do in real time. So. These buttons allow me to uh, uh, immediately stop or clear uh, the loop. So, for example, um, so that I recorded the loop and then stopped it. I want to play back that loop. stop it at the end of the loop that button will stop it if I want to clear the loop altogether uh, this button clears the loop so that's loop one stop and clear this is loop two stop and clear there are a number of MIDI CC commands that the Ditto uh, X4 supports um, and uh, this particular controller could be configured to uh, provide any of these CC commands. Uh, you could expand it by adding more buttons or, or contract it by uh, reducing the number of buttons it has. So that's one um, capability that I've used for the Ditto X4 to make it a little easier to use in practice. Another thing I've done is to uh, use the MIDI sync capability. So what I'm going to do now is connect up um, a MIDI uh, interface to an old iPhone that I have uh, and demonstrate the, uh, the MIDI sync capability uh, in addition to using the uh, push button. So what I've got here is an uh, iPhone, uh, and I'm using an app called MIDI Flow, uh, which uh, provides clock sync uh, and connects to this uh, MIDI interface, which is a, a Mio I from iConnectivity. Um, and that connects to the, the MIDI input for the Ditto X4 and the MIDI output from this push button um, switch that I built. So the MIDI Flow uh, app basically routes MIDI traffic. Um, and then I'm using another app, uh, which is uh, Metronome, simply called Metronome, without the E on the end of it. And it generates uh, clock sync. Uh, so for example, what I'm doing now is generating a clock from the uh, app on the iPhone. It's also generating a click, which could be routed to other band members. And that clock uh, is distributed to the, uh, the Ditto X4. So the Ditto X4 is now syncing uh, to that clock. So this is useful in a band context if you uh, have other players and you want to play to a common click and use the looper um, in a band setup. 
so you can route the click trap track by uh, audio to other band members and have everything synced up so that the looper is playing along uh, with the click track. So for example, So you can see, for example, how that um, would be useful in a band context um, by providing a MIDI clock and a click track that everyone uh, can sync to in the band. And so now, for example, I've got a loop in loop one uh, that I can play back. If I want to kill it, that button clears it immediately. So anyway, that gives you an idea of uh, how I'm using the Ditto X4, uh, exploiting its MIDI capabilities and its MIDI clock sync capabilities. Thanks for watching.